Washington, D.C. has been celebrating Pride Day for decades, and it always draws a big crowd. Our regular annual event brings in hundreds of millions of dollars of economic impact to this region, including D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. So one can definitely expect that uh, this event in 25 will even bring that much more um, positive economic um, impact to our small businesses. In 2025, which will be the 50th anniversary of D.C.'s Pride Day celebrations, the entire world is being invited as D.C. will host World Pride Day for two weeks of celebrations and education focusing on the LGBTQ communities. It is extremely exciting. Uh, D.C. is uh, prime for hosting major events, and D.C. is known as one of the queerest uh, communities, cities in the United States of America. Brian Boss with Capital Pride Alliance will spend the next two and a half years getting the D.C. region ready for World Pride Day, which will run from May 23rd till June 8th. It'll include a human rights conference. It'll also include a sports festival, um, similar to something like the gay games. Among some of the highlights for the two weeks of events, plans are to kick things off with an opening ceremony at Audi Field. There will be a big World Pride Parade that'll go down Constitution Avenue, and capping it off will be a two-day street festival along Pennsylvania Avenue, followed by a closing concert and ceremony near the U.S. Capitol. Mayor Bowser, who's been aggressively trying to attract large-scale events to D.C., applauded the announcement. Pride in D.C. is a manifestation of our D.C. values, an opportunity for people to celebrate themselves and the diversity of our community. What better way to celebrate 50 years of pride in D.C. than with the largest LBGTQ plus event in the world? News 4 has been a broadcast partner for years for the D.C. Pride Parade. <laughs> In 2019, when New York City hosted the World Pride Day, an estimated 5 million people attended. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4.